Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on create simple shell scripts that run ad hoc Ansible commands. So I'm not going to teach in here how to make simple shell scripts, uh, really, um, because we've kind of covered that more more in the RHC SA com uh, exam. So I will link in the description that, that original um, video so you can go through that at your leisure uh, if that's you're interested in. Um, however, yeah, I'll just go through and create a very, very simple shell script to run some and ad hoc Ansible commands. It's going to be nothing particularly fancy. I just want to just uh, give examples here because this is um, pretty much the same stuff just in a script. So it's not um, overly um, different from what we've covered already. So I'll just cover this off in a fairly short video. So I'll just launch the terminal. I will just sudo to root because I don't really want to bother with any of the permissions because it's a test lab uh, or do it's my old folder. Okay, so we're in a nice state here. So I'm just going to create a new shell script. We'll call it, um, we'll just call it service, uh, just call it manual service checker. Manual service check dot sh shell script or dot bash. It literally doesn't matter in the Linux land because this line here is the only one that matters. Let's do bin bash. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to create a simple script that it takes um, an input. Uh, so you, you run a script with, a, with a, an, a, an option on the end. And based on that option, it will run two different um, Ansible command line options. I'm, it's again very simple, but I'm just going to yeah, literally cover this off this way. So I'll just do a an if open it up a one so to take the in input and if that is it equal to um, web then I'm going to count this as a web server I'm going to close that we're then gonna we're gonna then do an ansible against all maybe let's do let's do ansible web and then minus i inventory so we've got that inventory file oops inventory and minus m and then what the module is so it's ansible dot built in dot shell so we're going to run shell command minus a for the argument and we are then just going to do service httpd status okay and i'm just going to copy that line and then do a second command which is sshd okay And then we just have a else where we just run that same command. And I'll just delete the extra line here. So I just want the SSHD, yeah. So, and then we want to run it against all. Okay. Okay. So all this is going to do it's yeah pretty simple again so all i'm doing is if we run this uh, script with web as an option as the first argument then we're going to run these two ansible commands one by one else we're going to just run this one so basically i'm just doing an extra check if it's a web server if it's not then i won't do that extra check that's literally all there is here Obviously, you can do a lot more complicated things with fours and and all that kind of stuff you can do in, in a, a bash script, but I'm not. It's not really the intent to cover it here. As I mentioned, I'll put that uh, in the link in the description. So let's do a right quit, and let me just check my inventory. 
and make sure yep so i've only got clients so let me just do a a new section here um, so let's just do a just do a client to ansible underscore host it's not it's going to be non-existent but i'm just going to do it for the sake of doing it and we're going to do one that's web I probably should have that in the lower case that's bothering me um okay and we're just going to have client free and i'll be ansible underscore host and then 10 0 2 dot 10 i'm going to do a client one again and that'll be ansible underscore host 10 0 2 dot 8 actually i'll just delete this line make it a bit cleaner so let's see yeah so we we'll definitely get a, a pass if that works nicely so we just double check i've got that right so i've got web as the option yep so that should be okay so that should run quite nicely so let's just do a uh allow that to run so it's just called manual service check and we just do clear and we just run this first so just run it without any arguments first let's do a standard ssh i did write shd but we'll check okay so what we got we have client one changed and we have the output so we have open ssh service daemon obviously that's running because ansible runs via ssh but anyway let's buy the buy this is just part of the i just realized how silly that is but uh yeah that's that's part of this uh <laughs> Is example here so yeah um, yeah you can use the service module of course but I'm just getting just showing you a, a, a quick command uh, and how it works so you give quite nice verbose information there so I can run the same command with web on the end and we can again do the same thing we will get a failure from one and I should get a luck a bit of luck from the other one um, HTTP is not installed Okay, that's interesting. I thought I had installed that previous. So just do Ansible hyphen playbook minus i inventory. Uh, yeah, I don't really care what it runs against because uh, obviously all the other clients don't exist anyway. So I'm just going to let it install in Apache and we'll loop back here. Okay, so let's just rerun that again post the uh, installation of Apache and we should now have a bit more success. Yep, so we've got Apache, uh, so we've got two outputs now. Uh, we've got two of those warnings to say, you know, should we use the service module? But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, again, we've got the Apache output and then we've got the OpenSSH output. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover there. Um, yeah, so to just a practice. Um, it's pretty much the same CLI as that. And you can obviously, if they're mentioning ad hoc specifically, but obviously you could reference uh, another YAML file easily. There's exactly the same thing, same command line you'd use um, manually that you could uh, then put into a script. But obviously one thing to be very careful with, uh, as with all scripts, is if you're using, um, if the script may be moved around, be very careful where you put the script and also make sure that you've got the fully qualified path um, in the script so if you do move it around then it's still able to get to the inventory file for example or or any other supporting files it needs as part of that um, yeah so this is pretty much all I want to cover um, thanks for watching I'll catch you next one cheers right now I've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my T public page uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch if that's anything you're interested in uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations um, if that's uh, something you're interested in. Um, yep, and also just the details of my Discord server. So that's the best place to ask questions. Um, also, we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can. But Discord place is a great place. We've got a bit of a community going there and um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you. Um, yeah, it's a great community we were building there. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers.